But he didn't know it was stolen. You didn't yeah, call my mom? Uh, well, no, that's not. The owners are saying that the vehicle was taken without permission, and that's what I need. I don't need to call your mom, okay? Okay. okay. On March 13th, 2024, Officers were dispatched to a bank in response to a report of two women potentially committing fraud. What's up, boss? What's going on? You want to scare her for today? Yeah. She was a passenger. Okay. We're going Officer Medina. Huh? Officer Medina? We already voiced we didn't have no weapons. I didn't have it down. So you said that. Are you okay with that? Did I touch you at all? Did you wait until you were waiting by, right? No, but I showed you when I was sitting down that I had nothing to do. It's okay, babe. I'm recording. I'm recording. Recording. This is recording too. What's your name? That's okay. My name's Angel Padilla. Angel Padilla? Yes. What's your date of birth, Miss Buddy? What's a good, what's a good address for you? Five oh five Tingley. Five oh five Tingley. Did anybody make contact with anybody inside? I have it, sir. Hi. 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 Alrighty. Appreciate it. So let let me show you what we've got here. This is just a copy of it. Let me get the actual. Um, this young lady we have here, she is one of the account holders. Okay. Um, Casey Riedemann is her father, and she's on the account too. Um, they came to try to cash this check. The signature didn't match. I couldn't get a hold of him, so then I called her. Yes, ma'am. And so she was able to get in touch with her father, who said that. He did not write the check. He, he, she is a caregiver for him? She is a caregiver for him. And he said that she took off of the checks and the cars and he was trying to get the car back. So the car is actually my dad's as well. Okay. He never reported it? I don't huh? know. I don't okay. know. Okay. So the caregiver took the car and... The checks. And the checks. And he never wrote, he never gave them permission. Okay, is your dad here local in town? He's in TRC. Okay. Yeah, that's his dad. All right. Give us one second. This is the lady that's trying to cash the mm -hmm. check. She's out there. This, huh. Yeah, that's Jessica. I don't know which one. I think it's, I don't know. The drivers. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, so. I guess one of these ladies is the caretaker, mm -hmm. to, and so, the, uh, the the daughter mm -hmm. is inside um, with the forged check, which is what started all of this. They couldn't get a hold of the account holder, which is the owner of the truck, so they called the daughter because the daughter is on the account also. The daughter got a hold of the dad, and the mm -hmm. dad said no. The caretaker took his truck and his checkbook. Okay. So, and he lives in TRC. That's what she said. She, yeah. she stays there. Did he want to? I'll yeah. call him. All right. Let me let me go get back with the daughter and see if he wants to press charges and go forward with. Okay. Well, thanks, right. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you get your father back on the phone? and see if he wants to pursue charges against them. See, I'll try, but I know that he will. Are all these previous checks that they've written, or no, these not, are all that these are, these are other checks that were written on his account that don't look like they're his signature, so there might have been some fraud. How old is your dad? Mid-80s? 42, so he's, he's 82. And the reason I, I need to hear it from him is in order for us to detain them and arrest them, mm -hmm. we need to hear it from the actual victim. Okay, right. You can't <laughs> arrest them for trying to 
Well, we don't know that it's fraudulent until he says oh, it's Because he just told her. It's not. Yeah. He did tell her that it was, that he didn't write the check. Okay. Give me one second here. Just to detain them for now. Mm -hmm. And CID's on the way out here. Cool. Sounds good. You can stick the coding stick in your pocket, your phone in your pocket. Why? You're just going to be detained for now, okay, Angel? You can put it in your pocket if you want to. Whatever's going on in that, in that bank, reference whatever transactions, that's what we're waiting for right now. Okay? I'm not, like I said, I'm not too sure right now, Angel. I've been out here with, with you guys the whole time, I'm not too sure. Right now. It's just part of what we have to do right now, okay? They were detained until the detective arrived to conduct further investigation. Okay, what are you all the wall for? coming to chill and uh, we were cashing our check because we worked for Ken. The one guy, that car, we worked for him. So he's a real good uh, family friend of my mom's. So we worked it out. My mom and my dad went down there because we were looking for a vehicle because we crashed our Pontiac. So he talked to my mom. They worked it out because the car's under his name, under his insurance and all of that. Okay. So we worked it out to where we get paid weekly. It's $15 an hour. Okay. So What do you do for Ken? whatever he needs if he needs us to well he's more mobile now because i used to work for him back hold this kid i have no idea is that for the house that you got the checks for i didn't get the check he wrote it and he gave it to me he wrote it and gave it to you yes okay well he had my girlfriend write it but he signed it because he can't really write okay what do you guys do for him well usually we go my girlfriend makes him breakfast i usually will clean him if he needs to be clean change him uh, well, we were doing outside work for him. We were supposed to go do his van, uh, but he didn't have no extension cords, so he had to call some other guy named Mo to bring extension cords. Uh, we just do odd work, whatever he wants. All right. So he gave you one check today? No, yesterday. Yesterday. He gave yes. you one check. What was the check for? It was working for him for four days. Okay. Because I have an expired ID, so I can't cash a check. So it goes under my girlfriend's name. Okay. So you were working. How much was the amount of the check? Six hundred. How much? Six hundred. Okay. So you wrote the check. Yeah. Uh, so yesterday he took his checkbook out and he told your girlfriend to write it out for him because he can't. Okay. He did it for six hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. And he signed it himself. Yes. Okay. He signed it himself. And gave you the check. Okay. Now the vehicle. Where's the vehicle from? The vehicle's from him. He let us use it as a payment. As, as when? Um, I could go back and look at messages. I don't know. It was maybe the beginning of March. I really don't know. Okay, that's when he lent you the vehicle. But he also did call it in stolen the first time. Because this isn't the first time he's called a vehicle in stolen on me and other people. Okay, so why would you take the car? What do you mean? He let us. Yeah, he let you, but knowing that, hey, this guy... I didn't know until the police officer told me. He yeah. got pulled over, and he said, oh, fair warning, he does that a lot. And I was like, like, he gets mad and he does that. Okay. So I was like, okay, just, you okay, know. but that's what I mean. That was the first time. Yeah, so I mean... why would you take it again, knowing that he would probably do it again? He never said nothing. If he would have said to leave it, I would have said, okay, let me call my mom, let me clear my stuff out. I had no problem leaving, leaving the vehicle. Okay. He never voiced it to me that... He wanted it there. Did you have property inside that vehicle belongs to you and you guys have been using it since March 5th? That's your vehicle. That's well, what you're... Well, not ours, but we are using it. Like, we are going to start making payments, but we do have property Oh, so you're going to start making payments? Yes, we haven't started making payments. Start no. making payments. Okay. Okay. That's why I had no problem leaving it if he wanted me to leave it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But he didn't. Mm -hmm. So then, you came out here, okay, today. So, you, you went back home to your seat yesterday after you did your work and he gave you the check? No, I just drive around. Oh, the whole night you drove around? No, I came here last okay, night. I was already here last night. I spent the night in a hotel. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so like I'm you still. Spent, you spent the night in a yeah, hotel. Yeah, I'm still there. So you still. So you didn't go back to Tennessee yeah, yesterday. So you had the vehicle since yesterday. Yes. You're driving around. You came today to cash a check. Yes. Okay. 
and um, she, you have to put the check under her name because you don't have an ID. So I have she, an ID. It's just expired. It's expired. So she came in. She went inside the bank to um, uh, her drive through. She went to her drive through to cash the check. That's what happens, right? Yes. So you all had per you're telling me you all had permission yes. for the check, but the check belonged to you, but you put it in your yes. your girlfriend's name so she can cash it. Yes. Everything is legit, the vehicle yeah. is yours. Well it's not ours, I mean, we're it's, using it. Yeah. It's okay. not it's and, not and ours. And they gave you permission. Yes, he gave us he permission though. to use it. Yes. Okay. All right then. That's all I needed for now, okay? Okay. All right, thank so you. Okay. So this happened at 1020 when they came in. It was the female Jessica Garcia. You identified her as the one that was uh, cashing the check, correct? Well, they just sent it in. I assumed that that was her in the driver's seat because it was two of them. Okay, and when you checked the ID, was it, it was the same one, correct? Yes, okay. Now, on this one, Jessica Garcia, she attempted to cash a check. You, What made you think that it was fraudulent? Our bank, um, when we have uh, somebody trying to cash a check mm -hmm. and they don't have an account with yes. us, we call the maker of the check just to verify. It. Okay. And because this was from a different city, I, I wanted to make sure. But when I looked at the account, okay. um, just to verify mm -hmm. this signature, I noticed it was different. It was a little different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, I did I, see that, and yeah. I'm glad you gave us a copy of that. So that doesn't match. Okay, so uh, you called this uh, uh, Ashley? No, I called Mr. Wiedemann and did not get an answer from him. Okay. But Ashley is also on the account, so I called you her. You called her? She says, no, that's not us? Well, she she said she was going to call her dad. Okay. And her she did get a hold of her dad, and he said, no, he didn't write the check. He didn't. Yeah, okay. So they took the check one way or another. Okay, uh, let me see. What else do I need? Oh, there was three other checks. I know that... Uh, like I said, I'm going to handle these. But do you have who attempted to cash those checks? Do you guys uh, have that? Because I know on one of them it had like a driver's license number, date of birth, but it didn't have the complete information. I want to see if it's the same girls that are trying to cash those other checks. The other, no, because they were on the ones, it was like a... Um Echavarria and, uh, and Lewis or something yes, like that. Yes, or yeah. Lewis. Okay, yeah. but did you get ID on those individuals? No, those were cashed... Um, Previously, Previously off of the account. Perfect. Yeah, that okay. had nothing to do with nothing today. To do with it. Okay, mm -hmm. sound good. So I'm just going to stick with this. I really appreciate you giving us a call. Okay, I am going to just go. I'm going to make an arrest on just one of them, which is going to be the one that attempted to cash these checks. Okay. Okay. Uh, they're going to be charged with fraud, forgery, and as well as for driving the stolen vehicle. Okay. Okay. What happened there? <laughs> that they're going to do the telephone thing where I Okay, and he did say that they didn't have permission. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, is that? Oh, did yeah. he tell me that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you didn't He's have permission to drive right. it or anything like that, right. or to take the vehicle. Correct. He said they ran off of his vehicle. That's what he said. What happened? Where did you guys get these checks from? Uh, we worked for him. We've been working for him for almost a month now. Okay, both of you. Yes. Okay. Um, I cook for him and I help out with like the little things that she doesn't do, because uh, she physically takes care of him and I help him with everything else. Okay. How did you um, get to get this job? Uh, we worked with him before. Uh, one of his old caregivers was looking for extra help and she posted it on Facebook and she, we started, uh, I don't even know how long that time it was, it's like maybe in the middle of last year, somewhere around there. And we had issues with the lady that would pay us and stuff, so she told us to not come back. He didn't know about it. Um, we knew that he had vehicles for sale and, you know, taxis is coming around. We had Angel's mom go talk to him to see if he could tell us a vehicle. And she mentioned us again. He said, like, hey, yeah, they were good. What happened? Tell them to come talk to me. So we went about a month ago and talked to him again. And he right away. Okay. Come start tomorrow. Yeah, okay. And since How often do you guys come uh, down we, here to help him? We go see him every day. All the way from Pierce, you come down every day? Oh, well, he lives in Pierce City. Oh, that's right. He lives in yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah I, it's like a 15 I, I'm minute like, drive. Yeah, I love Pierce City. All right, that's why right, he doesn't live out there. Yes. Okay, now, the check. What was the check? Uh, it was for a pretty and hours. We went for four days, five hours a day. Okay. So, the so, check, how much? It was 600. 600? Okay. And then check. You just covered your work. Yes. Did you take the check or did you take the check? 
Ryan's wife? Yeah. Did she try to cash a check and she was driving a stolen vehicle? Well, okay. he didn't know it was stolen. Well, that's not... Uh, you didn't call my mom? Uh, uh, well, no, that's not. The owners are saying that the vehicle was taken without permission, and that's what I need. I don't need to call your mom. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So this is all your clothes? Do you have a bag no, to put your clothes? No, this is all my stuff. Can I call my mom to come? She should be. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. The officers are not gonna be waiting for you. I'm not for, gonna take off. Uh, you no, guys no, no. Have the keys. No, no, we're taking the vehicle. That's not a problem. But you, you can. Oh, wait, the keys. The ignition. You know what? Uh, would you be able to wait? Could you ask him? Would you be Just able to wait? Call your mom and ask her how long she'll take. Yeah. yeah. Or what's the? How long will it take for you to get here? I don't know. I'm calling her right she now. She's your seat. Mom, are you in Cruces? Lo, well, how long will you get here? I need you to come. Can call the car stolen, and now Jessica's getting locked up. And we need to take our stuff. Can you come? How long? I'm. I need to take all my stuff out of the car and put it in yours. They're trying to take the car. No, so I need you to come. Okay, so how long? You got any other family or uh, friends that come First over? savings. She doesn't have any friends here. Uh, Let's just ask her. Let's see, maybe. She, mom, no, in Cruces, mom. Do you have? Do you have any family here that I could that could come pick me up? No. Friends? No, she doesn't know anybody. No. Can you no, get here as fast as you can? Get some trash bags, get all their stuff, and take it out to the street and take it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she said she'll get here in an hour. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put some uh, get you some trash bags. Okay. Put all your stuff in the trash bag. Get, you can't stay on the property. Okay. So you can go down here to the street and go over there with your property. Okay. okay. And your dog. Okay. okay. Hold on. And what about my girlfriend? How do I go about getting that? Yeah, she's going to be at the detention center. Okay. You can make contact with the detention center on to see what's her court hearing, uh, about a bail, you know, to, to get her bond and everything. It's going to take a while, it's going to take a couple of hours, plus the court will be in court, and then uh, by the time she goes to book in and everything, okay? so it's not going to be made right, right now, right away. Well, could she get out today? Yeah, I'm sure she can. She could get out today? I'm sure she can see a judge later on today, because we've got time to get her over there. Okay, so the sooner you guys get her over there, the better? Yes, the sooner the better. Yes, the sooner you get her over there, the sooner you get her over there, the sooner you get all the stuff done, and you contact her, and see what we need to do to get her over there. The woman was released while her girlfriend was taken into custody and charged with unlawful taking of a motor vehicle, forgery, and fraud. Further investigation revealed that this was not their first instance of forgery. During their time working for the man, they had illicitly obtained between $2,500 to $20,000. What are your thoughts on the exploitation of elderly people, and do you think both should have been arrested? Share your thoughts below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos.